My name is Peter Crandil. I'm the site leader here at Arbonne, and among other things, I'm responsible for innovation activities. Engineers are by definition a little bit in their own technical world. On the other hand, they cannot be too far away from reality, because at the end, they always have to deliver a solution to a real problem. We're not scientists, we're not research scientists. It means we've got time skills, short time skills to solve the problems. Uh, we have to think as engineers. FPT Industrial is the brand within CNH Industrial dedicated to the development, production and sale of powertrain solutions for on, off-road, marine and power generation. The strong focus of FPT Industrial on research and development make FPT Industrial among the most innovative powertrain developers in the world. We have highly trained engineers working very closely together. Because I'm in this office, I can do the fluid flow simulations. Next door I have development engineers who are in charge of the experiment. I can ask them for the boundary conditions, confirm exactly what the boundary conditions are, what the geometry is. We have CAD engineers who can bring me the geometry. We can put the pieces together and work towards a solution. The FPT Centre at Darbon has always been a game changer for research and advanced development. We are proud to have more than 100 years of experience contributing to the development of direct diesel injection, turbocharging, new combustion modes, common rail injection and just recently the development of the high e SCR technology. SCR stands for Selective Catalytic Reduction. Nitrogen oxides are converted with the help of the catalyst to nitrogen and water. In order to launch this process, we need to add ammonia or urea to the exhaust stream, which is then absorbed by the catalyst. A big advantage of the SCR technology is that we can decouple the emissions from the fuel consumption. That means we can run the engine at the best efficiency and tackle the emissions afterwards with the SCR technology. When we launched the SCR technology in 2005, we reached efficiencies up to 80%. In the meantime, thanks to the new technologies and the SCR control algorithm, we are reaching efficiencies up to 98% with the high ESCR. Since we can reach the emission limits without DGR, we also have less impact on the vehicle cooling package and hence a simpler installation. With the next generation of high ESCR2, we are combining the SCR function with the filter function. That means that we're adding the filter function to the current SCR brick without adding any additional volume to the layout. With our technology, the customer gets a very clean engine with better fuel consumption, higher performance and better durability compared to others. 